Hello, this is and I'm playing Queen the Eye. Now, for this game, I'm going to have to have the, the volume quite low because, well, I mean, you know, there's a lot of um, licensed music in this game. And, I mean, while well, it's, and look, I notice it's 0% here, yeah? That will change once I get into the game. I mean, it may seem quiet now, but that's how it gets you. With false, you know, confidence. Like, thinking, oh, finally conquered you volume and then when you least expect it boom volume I mean music I mean yeah yeah sure it's Queen music and it's pretty nice and all but um, I'm not allowed out on this channel I mean unless if I'm yeah, gonna go off and strike some kind of deal with a record company yeah I'm gonna get in trouble with YouTube and this, this loading screen is taking a lot longer than normal I gotta say yeah, you know, those guards, they're, they're very valiant in their look for Dubrock. And his name's Dubrock. Yeah, so an amazing thing about this game is that everything about it is outdated by the time it came out. Oh, their backstory. Oh, that went well. Yes. From the crumbling biotechnologies of the East, a new power swept the realms of humanity. Its credo was simple. Unity through servitude. Okay. At the heart of this power was a computer. What was it called? It was called the Eye. Why is it called the Eye? People believed in the power of the Eye. Oh, people are stupid. For one man, however, so is this Queen music or is this actual game music? I can't him tell his sometimes. His privilege okay, okay, that, that's actually life. Queen music right there. This man's name was Dubrock. Yes, hello Dubrock. Good, you're awake. You see, Let's Dubrock here yeah, is this man who's been genetically engineered to not have a personality. So when you see him zap D, you don't really give a damn. I've told you everything. A rogue data domain. Well, if you say so. Appeared and vanished. You expect me to. Oh, yeah, and occasionally wondering what that rogue data I'm domain thing is. It is music. No We're in a dystopian no future where all forms you know, of creativity has been banned, and he accidentally rediscovered I'm music. Just going into routine surveillance. Queen Shut music, up. to be exact. Report, Agent Kazan. I'm afraid that Agent Dubrock appears to know nothing. We've tried all means of right. gaining Well, yeah, maybe he doesn't know nothing. I mean, Please, he seems like the kind of guy who doesn't know a damn thing. I don't know anything. Yes, don't kill him outright. Send him learn. off to combat. Try a different approach, perhaps. No, no. Don't the big old eye spoken. Now do as I say. The arena. Oh, dear. Okay, this must be the teleportation thing and hang on a minute. That there is the look of a man who's just realized he's in Queen the Eye. Okay, now this is the proper right music in the background, but then again, it's just a beat, so... So, well, let's say, I, I've heard this like a thousand yes. times, so I can basically just yes. say it. Long of it. So much more to do, let's see if our contestants can battle for the arena and reach the spike. Yeah, minus Unlock the dice and rise inside the spike. We'll find the final watcher. Wait for you. Defeat him. And freedom is yours. So many have tried, and so many have failed. But this one may be special. Although we all heard that before. So before we start, remember the creed. We must all see to believe. Jack in. Raise your bets. And let the entertainment begin. There we go. Now we've got that out of the way. Now for the gameplay. Now I've got this expert strategy, and I'm sure you'll want to see it. I mean, why else would you be watching this video? Oh dear lord, this game does not like fraps running in at all, does it? Yeah, I'm just over there. Run past the mine. Have you get blowed up? 
This is mine now. It's a knife. Can you imagine what I do with a knife? That's right, stabby things. Unite. Who's uniting who? Oh, whatever. So, yeah, just, um, yeah, basically, I, I found to get around the horrible tank controls and combat, it seems running around and indirectly taking these guys out seems to be the best option. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I probably could have got that later. But what? Who cares? Let's have them blow, shoot each other a bit. I probably did that a bit early. Yeah, I did. I did. Okay, fine. I don't... I, I can get around these guys. Just... Just you watch. See? Easy. They're slow and stupid. Like me. We've got so much in common. Okay. So, there was a thing over here. Might as well pick that up. And it is... Ammo! For a pistol. You know, it's a weapon, which I don't have. So I'll come in really handy. As Dubrock sort of flings, pings the bullets at them. Or maybe I'll find a gun later on. That could be an option too. In fact, it sounds like the more believable option. Uh huh. That was a smart move. Is he getting up? No, he's dead. That's good. Because I hate combat in this game. I mean, you saw those guys randomly get out guns, right? Well, those guns seem to take a ridiculous ton of... A ridiculous amount of health away from you. There's no dodge in it, and... Well, yeah. There's a real major pain in the butt. Also, it's this jump kick move I didn't know about until, like, yesterday. I mean, for all this time playing this game, I only now discover that move. Just shows how MLG I am. Yeah. Alright. Here's the gun that we'd all been waiting for. But put your fists down so you can go into pick up mode. Yeah, he can't pick, pick things up when he's in his combat stance because, I don't know, Dubrock's hairstyle. Let's blame that. Okay. And this is a katana! Of course. What else would it be? I mean, the graphics aren't that terrible. Goodness. Alright, since... Yeah, did I mention that when this game came out, um... Oh yeah, I said that things were outdated, but I didn't say what was outdated. Like, for example, the, um... Well, I mean, you, you see the background, yeah? The, the pre-rendered backgrounds? Yeah, this is during an era of gaming when people rendered the backgrounds and engine. But EA apparently don't want to go with the times. They were too busy thinking... Money, money, money. Because, you know, they got Queen as a license. Actually, why did I exactly go through this? Why do I always go through this? I have no idea where that exactly comes in handy. There you go, I might have just forgotten where it comes in handy. You know what, I'll just take it anyway, just to be safe. Good God, I suck at going around that. Okay. Over there? Who's over there? I'll stop him. Who's over there? Oh, they're talking about me, aren't they? Well, I wish they'd shut up about me. Honestly. I don't like talking about me. Talk about something more interesting. Hey, there's a tower guard. Just sort of just shoot him. Stop him getting up. No, he's not dead. This is the, um, the game bugging out because I'm recording it. 
Oh, out of ammo. Ah, oh, crap. Don't worry, I picked up ammo. Ah, my eyes! Actually, you know what? I might as well just play the game over animation just this once. But there you go, I did deliberately so you could see this. There you go, you get that every time you die. Isn't it a real treat? What was that? It was annoying? Well, of course it was. You know what's also annoying? The frame rate on this. I mean, seriously. <laughs> ah, Jesus Christ. Why does everything sort of just have to collapse now? I mean, I know the performance isn't like the greatest in, of this in DOS box, but God. It wasn't this bad yesterday when I was just trying it out. See if I could actually get beyond the first two screens. I mean, that would have been a really, really frustrating video if I didn't, you know, if I didn't play it that day to figure this out. Also, I'm pretty sure I ran through it. I'm pretty sure I ran through some of those. He's over there. Okay, that's fine. Fine. Let's try a different strategy. But first, let's say and I'll do that tedious nonsense again. Yeah, it's one of those games you'll be saving a lot, just so you don't have to do a certain thing ever again. <laughs> okay, let's do, get out my katana. My trusty katana. Of course, he just has his gun that he pulls out of nowhere. And of course you can just block that, because why not? Alright, just gotta keep aim on him at all times. Otherwise I look like a right idiot. No, 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 it's per it makes perfect sense that you're just able to pull that out and attack. Yeah, I think it's totally fair that you get that stupid overpowered gun. That always hits. Takes up most of my health. Cool, there we go. I have a clue what you just said. Shotgun shells! That would be useful for my shotgun that I totally have right now. Oh, and a bazooka. Of course, why not? Got a bazooka. Okay, first health drink of the game. Gulping it down, do Brock's way. Oh yeah, of course, I don't have to do that again. Time for a save when the game loads up the menu. God, this is embarrassing. Look, Dustbox, you're embarrassing me. Stop it. Just stop it. Seriously, what happened to the game's performance? I mean, I know it's a pretty bad game in some ways, but, you know, I didn't know it was this sort of bad. Huh, which way do I go first? Doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't. Okay. See that guy over there? He's not gonna expect this. Bullseye! Yep, I gotta dodge fireballs with these awesome controls. Now, what on earth could this be? A shotgun! Looks like a short, sawn off one, but you know. Can't be too picky about my shotguns. More bullets! For more shooting! What else am I gonna do with bullets? Eat them? Why would do Brock eat bullets? You're stupid. My kid, I love you. 
Probably. Maybe. Whoever you are. Unless you're that some person I don't like. In which case I don't love you. Uh-huh. This dumb. Okay, this this dodge this fireball dodging is easy. Hey look, health potion. I love those. Um so for the comments section. Yeah, how about you tell me what your about your fa your, what your favorite Queen song is? Because this game is loaded with Queen songs, so that seems like an appropriate topic to bring up. Oh yeah, and also there's, there's an important item. I got Joe. Say, Joe, what you doing with that gun in your hand? Is a reference to someone else's music, and so therefore shouldn't be allowed in this video. But I did it anyway. Rebel. Okay. The reason I'm getting the rocket launcher out in this guy is because of God, I hate him. I mean, by the gods, this guy is annoying. Okay, I can take him on. Let's come over here, insectoid. He takes two of those blasts. Because, of course he does, and he's an, he's an insectoid. What could you expect in a less? Yes, the lodestone! Now I just need to collect a bunch more, and I'll be able to unlock the dais, and rise, up, rise, up, rise up inside a spike, where I'll find a final watcher waiting for me. And I'll defeat him, and freedom will be mine. Uh, it's the wrong button. I got to use the use key, not the pick up key. There's the two different buttons. Good thing I shot off those. Yeah, let's give some angle shots of them and stuff. I'm sure those will stay off forever. Uh huh. More of you dot fireballs. You know, maybe I could have tackled that other side later, but. Eh, I don't care. Oh, come on, it seems safe. Great, fine, now I've got to use this med, this health drink. Oh, because of you, fireball thing, and sort of chose to shoot then. So, remember this place? Of course you do. It's a lovely place. There's this bridge here, across this here muck. Yeah, I could show you a game over here, so I will. This is what happens when you fall into the muck. You have to wait for the loading menu to load up in two days. Okay, so just now I'm gonna get that to load off. Any moment now. I mean, what do you expect me to do? Like a death reel, like at the end? It's ridiculous. So now for you to see this game over. Because he deserves it. Because he's do Brock, that's why. I mean, how dare you rediscover music, do Brock? And just lie about it. By saying it's a rogue data domain. I mean, it's like this guy's never even heard of what music is and has no idea what is they're even on about. Oh no! It's a spooky, scary skeleton! This game's turning into horror. You know, maybe this game has taken some you know, inspiration from, you know, re you know resident... Hang on, that's not it. Uh, I don't know, it's, maybe it's taken some inspiration from, like, classic horror, because... We've got our skeleton enemy. He's obviously a really tough boss. I mean, look at how many hits he's getting on me. And how much health I've, I've, I've managed to get off. Oh look! I defeated him! Oh, in case you're wondering, if I didn't stop firing, you would have ran into that, um, that's, that, whatever that stuff is, and regained health. 
which sort of explains why he's hanging out in there anyway. It's his health stuff. So I guess he's got an addiction to it since he just hangs out in all the time. Or maybe he slowly deteriorate, de deteriorates when he's outside of it and has to stay in it at all times when he's not doing anything. Okay. Now you're probably thinking, hey, why are you saving here again? Well, you see, I just defeated a boss, that's why. God, does it really require that much of an explanation? Why I'd save a game after being a boss? Now, just to get back to the game. Ah, oh, goodness. I pushed the wrong button. Good thing I didn't do anything damaging. Okay, it's you know. I know that's out of rockets, but good thing I got more on hand. Okay. Oh. Oh, don't worry, I didn't just waste a rocket. There was actually a turret up there. Now, some might think, hang on, is that the real reason why you just went and turned off that? Didn't, well, shut up. Okay, now the pull is here lever to unlock that. Yep. And as for that boss up there, well you know what, I thought this is saving for later. You know, when everyone else has been taken care of. So screw you, cyborg! Hey, is it, there's some rockets over here. How do I fail to notice this? How do I fail to notice the explosions going on behind me? Think, do Brock. Actually, I think my problem last time was that I ran out of rockets because I didn't realize there was that there. I am so taking him on now. Okay, cyborg. Time to see why you shouldn't be in the Teen Titans. Because you're not cyborg, you're a different cyborg. Come on, do Brock. Don't be cyborg racist.
You just kept saying, um, yeah, what did he keep saying? Um, oh yeah, that's, re that's real freedom for you. And I just wonder, what exactly does that mean? That that's real freedom for you? I mean, what? Oh, well. Now for me to do this jumping puzzle. And you know what? When I do this jump puzzle, I'll, I'll just treat you to what happens when you get all the, the load stones. How's that for a deal? I think it sounds like a good deal. Okay, so. Remember, tank controls and awkward camera angles mean jumping puzzle equals fun. Okay. Oh, bother. Well, guess you get to see this death scene. That is a lovely sound. Ah, uh, these. But no, yeah, I'll have to go back for him and all the other stuff that was said in the other death scene. Okay, so. Oh, I guess it would be ultra annoying if they used both death music videos. But you know what else is annoying? Having to see a little cutscene every time you lose. Makes just jumping into the game, back into the game, just all that more fun. Who was this old man? Help me! Tycho. Help me! I don't have long. Got to get back. It's the last hope. Huh. Tell him. Tell the professor. Tell the professor Help what? Me. Oh. I'm dying. Please take it. Okay, I say that to him. Shall I write this all down? The, the creature is what? Okay, fine, whatever. Now let's see if I can make it back. Uh, jump! Okay, it's going well so far. Oh yeah, that, that's a little punishment for getting electrocuted. A tiny bit of damage. And there we go. Actually, you know what? I'll go, I'm gonna go fight a ninja now. Let's fight a ninja. Then I'll show you the end. Okay. Well, where is it? He's gonna show me real pain, huh? As opposed to the fake kind that, you know, all these other guys kept showing me. Alright, where are you? And where are you, dumb ninja? Wait, hang on, he's a ninja, so it's obviously going to be hard to see. Oh, hang on, he's over there. And easy to see. He's in plain sight. So yeah, Dubrock versus Ninja. Who wins? Edward Carnby, that's a... No, that's a different game. Yeah, that um, smoke, smoke bomb you threw there was really effective. It, it, it really, it was a real game changer. Uh huh. Basically, fighting these guys is like fighting those and those other enemies. Only they, these guys have slightly more health, and they don't pull out guns. Because they've got a code to stick to, they're ninjas. Okay. Where, where is he? Oh, there we go. Got the aim right. So, did I mention that Dubrock is just a cop? Apparently, policemen, you know, they trump ninjas in any time. Then need any special katana training to beat these chumps. I'll collect them my lodestone. Wow, what the heck this is? Shotgun shells. And now, and now we yeah, have, of course, the the moment you've been waiting for. Um, it's not. No, I'm not talking about me saving again. No, I mean me cutting over to this part here the game, which I played up to yesterday, just for you guys. And gals. There's probably gals watching too, maybe. 
And look, the Brock's foot is stuck in the in the stairs. Okay. So I want to see how many health packs I've got left? Three. Cool. Except I don't want to get out of that. Okay, now I'll just stick that there. Fits like a glove. Or like a cube in one of those things. You know, those things to give the babies. When they got to stick the shape into the thing. Alright. Now for me to rise up inside the spike. Oh, there's music playing, so obviously I'll have to mute this completely. Because there's nothing but the music playing, so, you know. Ah, jeez. I hope I don't forget to edit this video. Because I got a feeling I might forget to edit this video. <laughs> I mean, I am that kind of idiot, so, you know, I would do that. Okay, so rise up inside the spike. Where I find the final watcher waiting for me. Anyway, this guy's gotta be the hardest. Um, Blade. Okay. Feel the power behind a sword. Oh, oh, okay. That sounds like a real menacing voice right there. I mean, he's really got me scared. You know, I think it's time I take him on with my own blade, actually. My katana. Okay, the Brock. The Brock, you idiot! Um. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that, that was some. That was some smooth work there, the Brock. Ah, uh, jeez. I didn't even know there was even a you know, death cutscene for that. Because I hadn't exactly screwed up like that before on there. Because, um. After all this pain you go through to beat that guy, yeah? I mean, I mean, to get to that guy, that, that this is the easiest boss fight ever. I mean, I mean it's not like he's got little health. No, he's, in, he's invincible. Now, you'll see how you beat him. Because you've got to beat him by thinking. And by thinking, I don't, I don't mean you got to think too much, I mean, you know. I mean... I mean, this is why I don't really care too much. I haven't got any ammo. Hello, um, Mr. Blade. Mutant Peanut Guy. Feel the power behind a sword. Yeah, I'm going to feel the power behind your sword. Well, feel the power behind my sword. You stupid peanut man. Okay, let me just drink some of this. That's real nice of you to let me drink that. He's a really patient boss. Okay, you want to see how this? That's how you beat him. You push him off the edge. What, what was that? Did you hear that? Because I heard something. Oh, I pushed him off the edge, now what? Where's my prize? Where's my one goal? I defeat the final watcher! Where's my freedom? If I get back onto here. Hmm. Okay, it seems to have bugged a bit. You know, allow me to go ahead and try again and again until it works, okay? Okay. Use the what? The what? Use the what? Oh, is this? Oh, I gotta use this. Okay, I knew to use that. I, I definitely knew to use that. Um, that made plenty of sense. Oh, so that sounds like the start of one of the songs. I just can't seem to remember what it is. Oh, you mean the spike is a spike? That actually goes down? Oh, you look surprised. Well, you see, the Brock just won. Yeah, so I'm actually won. Look, 
if, you, if you're going to say stuff like that, you're going to expect questions. Well, what? Uh-huh. Wait a minute, you said that, that I think that's a thing I heard in the Game Over screen. But if she doesn't question, she's not going to fully understand her task. And then she'll fail it. Okay. Well, no, the trust her, oh, I see ya. One hundred and ten percent. So I've cleared the arena zone. Now the game will remove the arena zone from my hard disk and install it in the work zone because my poor, my poor, like, 50 megabyte hard drive just can't handle all this. But anyway, enough about my woe is, my woes of hardware limitations. I think I should end the video now. So until next time, goodbye.